Hello and uh, welcome everybody to my channel Lumini Bio Entrance and today we will be discussing Odisha CPET Biotechnology Question Paper for the year 2022. If you are new to my channel, please do like, share and subscribe. Coming to the first question. The life cycle of marine alga sargassum is, so it is diplontic life cycle. It doesn't have any alteration of generation. Which of the following is the correct order of evolutionary history of humans? So it is Peking man, Heidelberg man, Neanderthal man and Cro-Magnon man. Answer is option C. The next one. How many molecules of NADPH and ATP are required? for fixation of 6 carbon dioxide molecules to generate one molecule of glucose during photosynthesis. So in Calvin cycle you require 3 ATP and 2 NADH to fix single molecule of carbon dioxide. So here they have asked for 6 molecules of carbon dioxide. So you need how many ATP? Uh, you need 18 ATP and 12 NADPH because you require 3 ATP and 2 NADH for fixing one molecule of carbon dioxide. Then next one. Which one of the following is considered as a missing link between reptiles and birds? So it is Archaeopteryx. Answer is option A. The process of formation of seeds without fertilization in flowering plants is known as, it is called as apomixis. Budding, all of you know, you are studying from your 12th standard. Then parthenogenesis, that is a type of asexual reproduction involving development of female gametes without any fertilization. And somatic hybridization, it is development of hybrid plants through the fusion of somatic protoplast. Now this fusion of somatic protoplast can be from different plant species or varieties. That is called as somatic hybridization. Then next one, the hierarchical organization of taxonomic status of an organism based on evolutionary lineage is known as. So it is called as phylogenetics. Phenetics is an attempt to classify organism according to their um, morphology. Systematics is deals with the evolutionary relationship between organism and dendrogram it is a diagram that shows the hierarchical relationship between objects. The next one. The genes that are related by vertical descent from a common ancestor and encode proteins with the same function in different species is known as. So, they encode proteins with the same function in different species. They are known as orthologs. Answer is option A. Paralogous genes are genes present in a particular organism that are related to each other through a gene duplication event. Homologs are genes gene derived from common ancestor either due to orthology or paralogy. And heterologous is expression that describes when a gene is expressed in different species than the one in which the gene originated. Suppose you are heterologous means you are go, we want to express Arabidopsis gene in tobacco plant. So tobacco is heterologous system for Arabidopsis genes. Then next one. The hormones of adrenal medulla are. So they are modified amino acid. An example is epinephrine. Epinephrine is a hormone from adrenal medulla, medulla and it is modified amino acid. Then next one. During gastrulation, the developing embryo undergoes reorganization of the cells into multi-layered structure and each layer of the layer will be differentiated into distinct parts in the fully developed organism in due course of time. Which of the following layers is responsible for the development of skin and nervous system? So they have asked out of endoderm, mesoderm, ectoderm which of them will give rise to skin and the nervous system? So it is ectoderm. Answer is option C. The next one. Which one of the following condition makes a biological process spontaneous across all temperatures? 
that is when delta g is less than 0 or delta g is negative so that happens when the process is enthalpically opposed but entropically favored answer is option c then dash is the most abundant element in the human body without any infection and deformity so it is oxygen and it account for about 65% uh, of the person's mass then next one which one of the following bonds is present both in dna as well as in protein so n glycosidic bond it is present in dna and rna and uh, nitrogenous base is attached to the sugar molecule so it is not dna and protein it is dna and rna then peptide bond that is amino acids are joined by peptide bond to form a protein molecule so answer is uh, sorry and uh, i will come to the answer uh, phosphodiester bond phosphodiester bond it is found in dna and rna hydrogen bond it is found in dna as well as in protein so the answer here is option d then next one tryptophan is an aromatic amino acid which is synthesized in plants via shikimate pathway the sequence of its synthesis from phosphoenol pyruvate and erythrose 4 phosphate is answer is option a pp plus erythrose 4 phosphate plus it is not dahp it is dhap shikimate corismate anthranilate and then tryptophan answer is option a next question how many adenine bases are present in the b dna fragment of 1000 base pair with 60 percent g plus c content so 60 percent of 1000 that is 600 so 600 will be g plus c how much will be a plus t 1000 minus 600 that is 400 400 will be a plus t out of which they have asked how many adenine bases are present so adenine will be 200 adenine and 200 timing so adenine bases will be uh, 2 into 10 raised to 2 then next one beta sheets are example of they are example of secondary structure answer is option b then next one oxidation of palmitic acid requires dash rounds of beta oxidation and yields dash number of acetyl coenzyme a so it requires it is 16 carbon 16 so it requires um, seven rounds of beta oxidation and it will yield eight number of acetyl coenzyme a molecules answer is option a then next one in michaelis menten equation the enzyme kinetics curve is always so it is always a hyperbola the fa a phage part a phage capable of destroying host cell is known as so it is known as a virulent phage answer is option a next one the hospital acquired infections are known as they are known as nosocomial infections answer is option c then next one which one of the following is not an antibiotic amoxicillin cephalosporin clarithromycin they all are antibiotic so the answer is none of the above then genetic recombination in e coli occurs through so transformation conjugation translection all of the above answer is all of the above then gram staining differentiates staphylococcus aureus and escherichia coli which is gram negative due to so presence of multiple interconnected layers of peptidoglycans without outer membrane in staphylococcus aureus that is correct next option presence of multiple interconnected layers of peptidoglycan without outer membrane in e coli e coli has got an outer membrane and it doesn't have multiple interconnected layers of peptidoglycans so presence of multiple interconnected layers of peptidoglycans with the outer membrane in staphylococcus aureus staphylococcus aureus doesn't have an outer membrane then uh, presence of multiple interconnected layers of peptidoglycans with the outer membrane in the e coli e coli doesn't have multiple interconnected layers of peptidoglycans so option a is the correct answer then next one the phase of bacterial growth curve where exponential multiplication of e coli cells occurs is known as it is known as the log phase answer is option b then next one industrial production of vinegar through fermentation involves it involves yeast with acetic acid producing bacteria answer is option c
then next one the antibacterial action of penicillin is due to its effect on its effect on cell wall synthesis penicillin kills susceptible bacteria by inhibiting the transpeptidase enzyme that catalyzes the final step in cell wall biosynthesis that is cross linking of the peptidoglycans so the answer here is option b cell wall synthesis the major components chromosome is dna and protein so the major components of chromosome is dna and protein among them dna is considered as genetic material because dna possesses so answer here is all of the above now what is autocatalytic properties the autocatalytic activity is ability to replicate the ability to replicate by itself so that is autocatalytic property that is present in dna heterocatalytic properties that is dna give rise to rna through transcription it is heterocatalytic property then mutability is it provides an opportunity for evolution so because of these three reasons dna is considered as the genetic material so answer is option d all of the above the next one which one of the following is used as template strand during transcription of e coli so template strand is antisense strand or the non coding strand sense strand is the template strand sorry mm, sense strand is not a, is the non template strand so template strand is the one that rna polymerase uses as the basis to build the rna that is called as the template strand it is usually the antisense strand or the non coding strand the next one which one of the following is not a mechanism of post translational modification intime splicing also called as protein splicing that is a post translational modification proteolytic cleavage o linked glycosylation these are all post translational modification they have asked which is not a mechanism of post translational modification it is a purinic cleavage that is a purinic site is a location in the dna that has neither the purine nor a pyrimidine base the next one the interaction of triplet codon of mrna with the anti codon of trna is stabilized by so it is stabilized by hydrogen bond because nitrogenous bases present in the codon and anti codon bond together by hydrogen bonds then next one which one of the following enzyme is required for photo reactivation of the tt dimer it is dna photolyase because what is photo reactivation it is light induced enzymatic cleavage of a uh, thymine dimer to yield two thymine monomers that is photo reactivation and it is catalyzed by the enzyme dna photolyase then termination of dna replication in e coli is triggered by so it is triggered by the tus protein answer is option d the arrest of D, uh, dna replication in e coli is triggered when the replisome encounters with the tus protein so that is how termination of dna replication in e coli is triggered then tryptophan operon is regulated by the unique phenomenon of repression tryptophan biosynthesis is regulated by tryptophan repressor the tryptophan repressor bind to the tryptophan to form a complex which binds to the operator region and inhibits transcription of tryptophan biosynthetic genes so the answer here is repression the next one the c dna clone differs from genomic dna clone by so that is by the absence of introns a c dna clone it contains only sequences found in mrna so there won't be any intronic sequences whereas genomic dna it contains sequences of the entire genome so the answer here is option b the next one resolving power of a microscope can be increased by so resolving power it is given by the formula 0.61 lambda by na where lambda is the wavelength na is the numerical aperture so if you are using illumination of longer wavelength so when you increase the wavelength resolving power increases and when you decrease the numerical aperture resolving power increases so the answer here is option d that is 
using an illumination of longer wavelength and decreasing the numerical aperture. The next one. The fluidity of the plasma membrane increases with it increases with increase in unsaturated fatty acids in the membrane. Then next one. Which of the following plasma membrane receptors activate signaling pathways usually by forming molecular dimers that result in protein phosphorylation reactions upon binding of their specific ligand? So binding of a ligand, if you see in the case of receptor tyrosine kinases, alters the conformation of the receptor allowing it to activate G protein by GDP GTP exchange and then followed by release of GTP alpha subunit. So the answer here is option C that is receptor tyrosine kinases. Which one of the following cell organelles is semi-autonomous in eukaryotic cells? So it is in all eukaryotic cells. So in plants as well as in animals is what they have meant. So it is mitochondria is the correct answer. Chloroplast is present only in plants. So it is not all eukaryotic cells. Then next one. Which of the following cytoskeleton proteins have an almost all helical secondary structure? So it is the keratin that is having all, most all helical secondary structure. Microtubules and uh, microfilaments are helical structures of tubulin and actin subunits and intermediate fibers such as keratins and lamins have extended secondary helical structures. The next one, assuming hardy Weinberg equilibrium, the genotype frequency of heterozygotes will be dash. If the frequency of the two alleles of the gene being studied is 0.6 and 0.4. So P is given that is 0.6, Q is given that is 0.4. They have asked for frequency of heterozygote that is 2 PQ. So 2 into 0.6 into 0.4 that is 0.48. Answer is option B. The next one, mitochondrial DNA is advantageous for evolutionary studies because, because mitochondrial DNA is inherited maternally which paves the way to elucidate phylogenetic relationship. Answer is option A. The next one, if one gene masks the effect of other gene during a dihybrid experiment then the mode of gene action is it is epistatic gene action. Answer is option D. The next one, a cross between two true breeding lines in a plant, one with dark blue flowers and one with bright white flowers produce F1 offsprings that are light blue. So they have told a cross between two true breeding lines, a plant with dark blue flowers. So I have represented as BB, capital B, capital B and one with uh, bright white flowers so small b small b you get capital b small b that is your f1 they are light blue so that is light blue in color when the f1 are self the f2 progenies have segregated in the ratio one dark blue two light blue one white for its flower color what genetic phenomenon is consistent with these results so when f1 that is capital b small b is self you get Capital B, capital B, capital B, small b, capital B, small b and small b, small b in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1. So these will be blue, light blue and white. So it is an example of incomplete dominance. Answer is option C. The next one. Place the following steps of DNA isolation and purification in the correct order. So breaking of the cells and tissues under suitable cell lysis buffer that is one. Then comes separation of DNA by phenol chloroform isoamyl extraction that is second. Then comes ethanol precipitation of DNA and solubilization of DNA with the TE buffer that is true. Then assessment of the quality by UV spectrometry that is 4. 
one minute then comes this is not four okay i forgot i made a mistake it is five purification of dna using rnas and proteinase k that is four and assessment of the quality by uv spectrophotometry that is five so the order is one two three five four so that is seen in option b so b is the correct answer then antibodies are antibodies are glycoproteins answer is option c then next one light chain and heavy chain of antibody are joined by so they are joined by disulfide bonds then dash gives a primary immune response in human beings so it is igm answer is option b the monoclonal antibody recognizes the monoclonal antibody it recognizes unique epitopes so the answer here is option c epitope then next one which one of the following is the component of aeration and agitation system of a fermenter impeller baffle sparger all of the above are components of aeration and agitation system in a fermenter then next one which one of the following cloning vectors incorporate highest length dna fragment that is your yeast artificial chromosome or yaks you can clone dna fragments larger than 100 kb and up to 3000 kb then dna ligase so dna ligase is an enzyme that joins fragments during cloning of gene answer is option a dash is used as a probe during dna fingerprinting of human beings so all of the above can be used as a probe snps ssr vntr sequences can be used then next one which of one of the following is used as selection marker for the plant cells transformed with an agrobacterium tumefaciens based vector so they have asked for a selection marker and it is neomycin phosphotransferase gus lux gfp all these are scoreable markers or screening markers so the answer here is option a then next one which of the following is a direct gene transfer method used in plant system it is part, uh, direct gene transfer means dna is directly introduced into the plant genome that is by particle bombardment answer is option b next one a non anchorage dependent cell in ho is host to a baltimore type 5 virus if the cells are grown in the presence of carbon 14 labeled deoxy uridine triphosphate which of the following statements are correct newly synthesized viral genomes will become radioactively labeled the virus has an rna genome that is replicated using utp and not dutp so the viral genome will not become radioactively labeled newly synthesized mitochondrial genomes will become radioactively labeled newly synthesized nuclear genomes will become radioactively labeled that is or they both are not correct because host cell use dna as their genomic material and this does not contain the base uracil so answer here is none of the above then next one which of the following statements is true for enzymes so the first one apo enzyme that is inactive plus cofactor give holo enzyme that is active so the answer here is option a which techniques were used for quantitative estimation of dna in a plant extract so it is uv spectrophotometry quantitative estimation of dna is by uv spectrophotometry answer is option c which of the following methods used for exponential synthesis of targeted dna fragments in vitro that is polymerase chain reaction or pcr answer is option b then next one in agarose gel electrophoresis pcr amplified dna samples migrate towards so the phosphate backbone of dna molecule is negatively charged therefore when it is placed in an electric field uh, dna fragments they will migrate to anode which is positively charged 
So the answer here is option B. Then NCBI stands for, it stands for National Center for Biotechnology Information. Answer is option C. Then which of the following is not coming under intellectual property rights? It is geographical distributions that is not coming under intellectual property rights. Then next one. Secondary metabolites including alkaloids are produced through. So secondary metabolites including alkaloids they will be produced by root culture. Answer is option A. Then next one. The first vaccine developed through animal cell culture technique was. So it was polio vaccine. Answer is option D. Which of the following is emerged as an international issue through the advent of environmental biotechnology? So it is both A and B that is global warming and marine pollution. Secretory cells that release large quantities of glycoproteins contain relatively large amounts of rough endoplasmic reticulum because polypeptides they are which are destined to become glycoproteins are produced by the ribosomes of the endo, rough endoplasmic reticulum. Then for glycosylation of these polypeptides they enter into the lumen of the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the glycosylation it is completed in the Golgi apparatus and then they are secreted from the cell. So secretory cells that release relatively large quantities of glycoproteins contain large amounts of rough endoplasmic reticulum. Then transition type of mutation is represented by so GC substituted by AT. G, G is a purine, A is a purine, C is a pyrimidine, T is a pyrimidine. So answer here is option A. Transition is when a purine is, submit, is substituted by another purine or a pyrimidine is substituted for another pyrimidine. Then next one. Uh, which set of the following gene components are transcribed in eukaryotes and are present in the mRNA but not translated to amino acids? So they are introns, 5 prime UTR, 3 prime UTR and 3 prime poly -ATA. The next one. If all the points of a scatter diagram lie on a straight line moving from left bottom to right top corner, the correlation is called as that is from left to bottom that is from here to right top corner so it is called a perfect positive correlation answer is option b then which of the following genetically modified crops is based on antisense rna technology it is flower sour tomato answer is option c so that's it Thank you for watching my channel. If you are new to my channel, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.